All right, folks, today I'm showing you how to make this awesome looking lettuce wrapped low carb cheeseburger. It's time to grow. A lot of people are complaining these days that they gain so much weight between Christmas and New Year's Eve. The truth is that you gain most of your weight between New Year's Eve and Christmas. That's why in January all the people are starting to search for low carb uh, meals and low carb recipes. That's the goal for today's video. We are making a low carb cheeseburger or Kato or whatever you call it. I started with a cast iron pan with chili oil, some spring onions, some red onions and added balsamic vinegar. Then we let that simmer for 10 minutes and in the meantime we are seasoning ground beef with white pepper flakes and salt. This is all you need for a good burger patty. If you ask me, that's the truth. Just make sure to have enough salt in there. Give it a good mix and then form a patty. Of course, there are a lot of tools for making burger patties. Um, I have some of them, but I don't use them because most of the time I like to do this with my bare hands or with hands with gloves. After we have made that patty, Let's get started with a gas grill. This is my Landman Pantera gas grill. Pantera is a good band and also a good grill. And we heated up uh, the left burner, high direct heat. And after heating that up, grill your burger patty for approximately four to five minutes per side. Now I have some good news for you. I'm not sure if you are interested, but I will have a book coming out in February or beginning of March next year. The first version of course will be in German language, but if you want to have this book, you can send me a private message. Shipping worldwide next year will be possible. Of course, if you are located in Germany, it's also possible to pre-order this book on Amazon. I will put a link into the video description, so if you want to check it out, just to check out how it looks like. Um, what the title is and all those things, you can check it out right now. I decided to order some of the books next year by my own and that's why I'm able to give you an autograph or write some short sentences in if, if you want that and I can ship this to you wherever you are worldwide. Okay, but I will come back to that later or in the beginning of next year. In the meantime, we have already grilled the beef from both sides. It's now time to add the cheese. Make sure to have enough cheese on your burgers. We are moving uh, the patty with the cheese now to indirect heat. The Landman Pantera gas grill has two burners. The left is on, the right is not on. And now it's possible just to move them to the right side, close the lid and let the cheese melt. I don't like my beef killed twice. That's why we are headed for a nice looking burger with pink center. Of course, I know that not a lot of people are complaining about my, about how rare I eat my steaks and my burgers, but it's up to you. It's very, very easy. Just let it sit there for some more minutes and you will have the internal temperature that you like. Now take a piece of lettuce, a big piece of lettuce is best. Add the patty, balsamic vinegar, some pickles, and then close it. Make sure to have some more of that lettuce pieces with that size. And now wrap it completely in there. As long as they're big enough, it should be no problem to get the burger completely wrapped. Of course, this idea is uh, done by a lot of burger chains. I know that Five Guys also has a lettuce wrapped burger. What I really like is that it has such a good taste because it's, it tastes so fresh. The lettuce adds a freshness, which is perfect. We now have the acids of the balsamic vinegar, a little bit of the, of the sweetness, the pickles, the cheese, and this is exactly how I like my burger inside. Yeah, can't wait to hear what you think about that. Make sure to leave me a comment and hit that thumb up button, of course. As always, if you haven't subscribed yet, you should also subscribe now. Of course, I'm going to give this a shot right now. The consistency is really, really good. As I mentioned, the freshness is perfect. And you should save this one for January, where all the people are searching 
and looking for low carb keto recipes, this is worth a try. It's awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good holiday. I'm out. See you.